All right. Hey, I'm Marissa, and I want to share with you my favorite scripture about Jesus Christ. So there's a lot of scriptures about Jesus Christ in the Book of Mormon. Um, I don't know off my top of the, off the top of my head exactly how many, but there's a lot. And for me, I chose the scripture in Alma chapter seven, verses eleven and twelve, which are really good scriptures that demonstrate the type of person that Christ was. Um, the scripture says, and he shall go forth suffering pains and afflictions and temptations of every kind. And this, that the word might be fulfilled, which saith, he will take upon him the pains and sicknesses of his people. So this, we already know that Christ came here to suffer for all of us. But then it says, he will take upon him death, that he may loose the bounds of death, which bind his people. And he will take upon him their infirmities that his bowels may be filled with mercy according to the flesh, that he may know according to the flesh how to suffer his people according to their infirmities. So what stands out to me in the scripture? Um, the word sucker. The word sucker st stands out to me. Christ suffered all these things so that he can sucker us. And in other words, sucker means to help or to run to. I just think of this visual of Christ running to us when we need him. I think of times in my life when I've been so downtrodden, I can't even move a single step. But those are the times that Christ runs to us. There's a poem called Footprints in the Sand. I'm sure you may have heard of it. You may have not heard of it. But it talks about a man who was walking along the beach and this man was going through a hard time, a very difficult time. In fact, he felt so alone and he felt like there was no one there to even understand what he was going through. And at the end of the poem, it says, the man met the savior and, and they look back together and the man sees his one set of footprints and says, Lord, why weren't you there with me? Why weren't you helping me? Why weren't you carrying me? And the Lord says to him, it was me all along. That set of footprints is mine. I was carrying you the whole time. And I think that's such a good visual of Christ not only is there for us, but he's willing to carry us. He's willing to be there more than we can be for ourselves because no one else knows us better than him. And so if anything, I, I think of Christ not as just this superhero or this unattainable presence in my life, but as a friend and as someone that is willing to go the distance with me.